Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's video. I wanted to change it up just a little bit instead of an opening or an unboxing for probably like the 10th day in a row. Um, I just wanted to talk about the New York International Coin Show. And I know it's a couple weeks late actually, um, but I did have my surgery uh, a couple days after and then I kind of forgot about it. So yeah, I didn't really get to talk about it. Um, but I'd like to give it a show review. Uh, it's proper show review that it deserves. And yeah, so... Me and my buddy actually went to New York a couple days before the show actually started. We got there, I believe we got there on Wednesday. No, yeah, Wednesday Wednesday morning, technically. We, we flew out on Tuesday night, Red Eye. Oh, it was terrible. And uh, I didn't know the show. I thought the show was going to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I didn't know it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, we actually left on Friday, so... Um, yeah, we were gonna go on Thursday for the dealer day, except dealer day passes were 125 bucks for dealer day or early bird day, whatever you prefer. And I really didn't, I knew it was gonna be world coins and I don't really do too many world coins. And so I wasn't really planning on making any money at the show. I just kind of wanted to go to New York for fun. So I didn't really want to spend 125 bucks to uh, to get into the early show. Um, I knew that the next day was only 25 bucks, and so and I knew that we'd make it. So you know we ended up going and paying the 25 bucks, and we waited in line for probably a good hour, two out, probably honestly two hours um, to get our photo badges. They took I don't know why they took so long to print. They took forever to print, and they had to print like probably like 200 maybe maybe a hundred and they just they weren't very efficient uh, with printing them once they were printed you know we had all of our bags and we were kind of ready to go to the airport um, but we had a couple of hours and so we're like well let's go to the show and so we're walking around the show you know you get into the hotel and it's like super duper fancy right Inter intercontinental bark play New York show is done baby we are done we are good to go we're out of here it's like yeah, we shouldn't be here you know we're in like comfy clothes you know ready to go to the airport in the comfy clothes and so we're walking around and you know there's like a bunch of world coins i'm like dang i don't know anything about any of this stuff like if there's like a little piece it's like oh this is you know a spanish i'm gonna mess it up spanish a, a real you know or this is a you know five german five mark or german whatever 10 mark i don't know I think those are both coins you guys are gonna get really mad at me if I mess it up so I'm not saying too many coins I'm really bad at the world coins I'm learning now I'm trying to learn so so it's okay and you know my buddy he doesn't know anything about coins and so like I'm just like hey this coins cool I know this coins expensive or like you know some really nice ancient coin that's like MS you know NGC MS uh, I don't even know what they call it they just call it MS details I don't know what it's called nobody get mad at me again um, I was like, this coin's really nice, this is expensive, and then there were like a couple of other coins, I'll put a clip or two up of them, um, there was a $3 million coin, um, at least it, that's what it was the first sale as, I don't know if it's worth that much, um, but it was a specimen, I believe it was one of two. <laughs> these are great coins, these are affordable coins, these are behind you. Um, we paid £516,000 for it. We sold it two years ago for a million pounds. Wow. It's now worth probably 1.3 million. Now that the, the, the five pounds came out, that was the sovereign. So the five pounds came out, that sold for 1.8 million. That was pretty cool. The guy, we spoke to the guy and, you know, he told us all about it. And it was really cool actually. And they're from, they were from the UK or yeah they were from over in the UK and so that was really cool you know they flew in from over there and you know they're all they're all British and everything so that was pretty funny um, not funny um, it was just like cool you know you don't really see different like language not that they're speaking a different language but like you know different accents and like people from like around the world at a coin show at least you know I'm not venturing off into those sections just because I'm not usually buying world coins so that was pretty cool 
Um, the hotel was super fancy, you know, they had like candies out for everybody to take. <laughs> PCGS was there, and so was NGC. I submitted coins to both of them, so I was pretty good. Went very good. Um, I actually submitted some world coins while I was there. Submitting some coins. Um, I submitted, I honestly don't know what they were. I literally put, I don't know what this is on the submission form, and hopefully they can figure it out for me. But yeah, it was really fun, it was great. Um, I actually did buy one US coin. I saw probably like five US coins total, and I ended up buying one of them. It was an 1881S Morgan in MS67 plus CAC, uh, PCGS. And I ended up overpaying for it a little bit, but you know, I wanted to buy a coin from a world coin dealer and say that I bought a coin at the New York International Coin Show. So yeah, probably don't need to go back to that show ever again just because I don't didn't make any money at all but yeah it was a good time I had, I had fun I'd rate the show probably like a good it was really cool so the coolness factor probably like an eight or nine for me um but like everything else maybe like a seven solid C I would say a solid C is okay and yeah it was a good time and I'm looking forward to the next show I'm sadly gonna miss Long Beach this year um, not gonna be able to make it, uh, not getting cleared from the doctor yet until literally f Friday of the show, and so I'm just not gonna be able to make it, which kind of sucks, but you know, you do what you gotta do, you know? So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have an amazing day, and goodbye, everybody.